Hey team, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at the data type called unique identifier. And I'm going to share some experience with you while using this data type. The first thing you have to do when you open up a window is make sure you're in the correct database, MyDB. So execute a command like this. So here we're going to create a table called cus customer M. And notice that we are going to declare this ID as a unique identifier. And it's going to be my primary key. And uh, then I have a customer name and it's an N of our char. So let's go ahead and create that table. Once I create that table, it's then available to me to do kind of like whatever I'd want to do. And uh, my goal is to insert some data into there. So here you can see I simply just have a insert into that table. Unique identifier is known by this thing. It's called a new ID. You can come up to anything and say select a new ID and just highlight that and execute that and always get a new ID. And here you can see that I'm going to insert six rows into this table and I'm going to get a un unique ID every time I execute this function, new ID. Let's do that. And notice now I have six rows in my table. Now the unique identifier is supposed to be unique across all instances that you have, which is pretty cool. And with all my experience, I've never been able to make that fail. I've always been able to get unique identifiers. And that's the beautiful thing of it. You can imagine that if we had a web service, HTTPS, uh, www.sumurl.com slash ID equals, you know, some, this guy, that would be very hard. In fact, it would be impossible to get this next value. There's nothing repeating it at all. So as you see, the unique identifier for writing web services is pretty awesome. And it's impossible to figure that out. Even using some type of brute force method, you know, going up against the unique identifier is pretty strong. So let's kind of make this insert statement a little bit more friendly. So what we can do is we can come over here, come into this table, right click on this design, and notice that we have our two columns. Then what we can do so we don't have to type in that new ID anymore is come down to where it says default value. And we can actually put that function in there, say new ID. So what, what that does for us is whenever we do an insert statement into this table, the default value will be there for us. And I will save this. And then uh, we will go back to the program. And notice now that I'm going to insert into that same table, but I'm only going to give the company name. I'm going to give only the company name because I've set up a default value for the ID. And notice that was able to insert five more rows. And those are my values. Now, even when I have a default value, I can still give my own. And I can say new ID. And that would be for company 12. And there you have it for the unique identifier. The unique identifier is great for IDs. Okay, team, look forward to seeing you back in our next video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you found this video informative and it warrants a thumbs up, please click that. And lastly, I'd like for you to support my channel. Please consider subscribing. Thank you, team.